Okay lads, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. As you can see, I am not in Ibiza, and the video is probably something titled to do with Ibiza. I'll explain all that in a minute, but first of all, thank you so much to everyone who has watched all the videos so far, who's left me feedback. I've thoroughly enjoyed making the videos. I hope you've enjoyed watching them. If you have enjoyed watching all the videos so far, please leave the video a like now. As you can see, this video is probably my longest one yet. Well, it definitely is. It's about 30 minutes long, I'm guessing. I haven't actually put it together yet, but I know because I've already made it. The whole thing got corrupted and now I'm starting again. So this is like my fifth time actually trying to make this video. Yep. The Ibiza videos have been fun to make, but I kind of want to move on now. So that's why this video is going to be so long because it's just going to be like the rest of the holiday put into this. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing now, come back later. You know, you know yourself, I don't have to explain to you. You can just watch it in clips. You can come back later, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a long one. I don't really expect a lot of people to sit for 30 minutes unless you're like my biggest fan, which I doubt a lot of people are. But anyway, lads, yeah. So leave the video like now. And then I'm going to explain why I'm here and not in Ibiza at the moment. So as many of you people might know who have been on holidays before, things going to get weird sometimes. So we're at the point in the holiday where things have just kind of gotten weird. And I've stopped like recording. I've stopped kind of narrating what is happening. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to narrate anything that doesn't really make sense. Because I find like the storyline won't make sense if I don't do this. Because one minute I'm in like, I could be in the apartment and then like five hours later I'm in the nightclub. So things didn't really make sense because I just kind of gave up doing a lot of video on because I had so much clips and I kind of lost sight of what I was recording over there. Things will make sense once I get into it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to narrate what's happening. So if things don't make sense, I'll jump back to here, explain what's going on so everyone understands. I'm going to ask you to subscribe now because I'm not going to do it now for the rest of the video. The rest of me sitting here is just going to be me talking about what's going on. So if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe if you did enjoy the whole series, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more from myself. Anyway lads, going to jump into the first clip. Thanks for watching. We go again. <laughs> okay, so I have to jump back in already because there's already a massive gap in this story. So just there, I had just woken up from the night before. It was like five o'clock in the evening, like it was a late rise. We ended up not recording until about like one o'clock that night or something. We went up to Esvedra Rocks, which is like where all the workers from Ireland and all that we'd know were are staying. Went up to them, met up with a few people, went down to the West End, had a kind of quiet enough night, walked around, met a few new people, met Tall Paul, whose name is actually Luke Peden. You'll see him in the video. Shout out to you, Luke. He was one of the cool guys we met over there. He's like six foot eight or something, so we just call, called him Tall Paul. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's just jump into them clips. Here. Um, so we were on the first one on the bad This is the scaldiest place. On planet Earth. Oh my God! Little crack then. <laughs> Holy shit! Not the flats. Oh man, Akeem. You're a team, man. Oh shit! Yes. Yeah, that was not impressive. Go again. Pressure's on. Oh yes. Go again, here, synchronize, synchronize it, synchronize it, go. No hands, I'll pull my head. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no hands, no hands. <laughs> hey, look, synchronize it, line up there. Synchronize There, she's on them. Into the sea. Into the sea. She's gone. Go. Boy, a word. The sea, the sea pole. The tall ball, the tall ball. Hey, wait, stand beside the tree, look. Oh my God. If you Actually, nearly the same height as that tree. If you are our tall Paul, the fellow. That... <gasps> oh, this island's punching the head off us. Hello, drain. <laughs> okay, so I did say that things got weird. I just said hello to a drain. Like I'm usually quite a weird person, as you just probably guessed if you watch my vid videos regularly. But that even me looking back on that, I was just like, man, my brain was not okay over there. Like saying hi to a drain. Things just get weird, alright? So just keep watching on, and you'll you'll see. Like I just some of the shit I'm talking about, just weird. Hello. I was talking to a little small dog. 
she always looked at me like, whoa. I was talking to a little dog and, and he wasn't responding to me. And then the owner was like, hola. And I was like, oh, that's why. And then I was like, hola. And he was like, yeah. Hola. Hey, hey, hey. There you are, lads. Goodbye. Go to bed. Okay, so we're now fast forward in a full like 24 hours or a bit less to the sunset the next day. We went down to uh, Cafe Mambo to watch the sunset. Thousands of people out. Really cool. It's kind of like one of the things you need to do when you go to Ibiza. Watch the sunset. Unreal. We had a really nice night for it as well. There was no clouds in the sky or anything. You could see it perfectly. So that's that now. <laughs> It's our 58 tonight here. I'm just gonna go settle down when I get home, find a nice girlfriend. Um, probably just like never leave my house again. Um, save all my money and like, start like, investing in my future and shit because I can't do the same one. <laughs> no, um, Sean's in the shower. It's like half one on Thursday night. Today all that happened was we literally wrote, we went to bed at 11 o'clock this morning. Actually, I don't even know where we went, so I don't know where the fuck we are, I don't know what's going on, but yeah, we went, we're going tonight, we're going to the West End again, because there's nothing really decent on tonight that we want to go to, because we've already been to all the, like, the decent clubs that are playing tonight, that's worth going to, all the events and all, so we're not going to anything big tonight, we're just going to go to the West End, which is like, I'll show you. Right, so we're here, there's some big clubs, like, over behind them buildings, and the West End's like, down past that egg up there, it's like, down there, it's like, basically, like, Magaluf. Just like real cheap shit and all, just a lot of freaks. Um, it's basically just Magaluf. Cheap drinks, it's all the drink deals, whereas like over here you're paying like 9,000 euro for a drink in most of my clubs. Um, so yeah, see you. Shit! Um, we're about suffering with a bit of case of fucking... Bit of fat belly. Bloatitis, so we just came back just to regroup, show me that. Not my belly. Show me your bloat. You ready? <laughs> yeah, so... We just came back, oh, let's do this mirror, this is the best, best lighting in the gaff. So we just came back to just regroup. We were just sitting there bloated as fuck, so we're just doing some uh, breathing exercises and then we're going to go back out. Tip number one. Wow. Oh, that is it. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking bird. It's just the one. It's just the one. the noisiest place in the fucking world. As we've just given up on sleeping, we've literally got the loudest apartment in the fucking world. It's just it's real quiet now, as I fucking said that, but there's cunts who just slam doors every eight seconds. There's a main row right outside, and people are all coming in from lights out and fucking starting their day. And it's just the loudest thing in the world. So, we're not sleeping, we're staying up. I'm gonna get food and probably just go to the pool. Jeez, I am out of. You're looking at the most in this. Like, I walked into this shop and the woman just looked at me. She was just like, like, you know it's bad when she's surprised at seeing someone of either. It's just my fucking. Like, I am Shaggy Dude from Scooby Doo. <laughs> Jesus, I am wrong. So many noises. You look at the Shaggy's head in Ireland. It's 2010, so that's that. We can't sleep, so we're just getting to pizza. Um, we're both considering just like jumping in the harbour and hopefully dying. We have a boat party in like a few hours. And then we have to go to Halton's 82 after. But we're gonna try and sell our tickets for Halton's 82 because we're so wrong. Um, it's like the loudest place in the fucking world here. Like, even there, it's just like, sure. I'm trying to sleep there. So hopefully this pizza is, will just make us go sleep. Full of carbs. And then we can just like, miss the boat party and try sell our money. Okay, apologies for the lack of enthusiasm so far like in everything I've been doing in these clips But I feel like it's an accurate Reflection of what we were actually feeling at the time There's no point to just like pretending to only show all the fun clips because I feel like that's not like It's just not accurate. And it's not being honest like we were having we were struggling big time uh, But like we're still in a good mood now, but it's just like 
Things just kept going wrong from this point on, you'll see now. So after countless attempts of trying to sleep, we finally got about like two or three hours sleep. We got to bed at about 11 o'clock in the morning, which was just like, it was an absolute killer. We just couldn't sleep. Our room was an absolute joke over there. So loud, just constant noise, constantly bright. You could just It was just the hardest place I've ever tried to sleep in in my life. Anyway, we did eventually get some sleep. We attempted to go to the boat party the next day. Things just kept going wrong. We missed the pre-party, which was on the rooftop of Eden. We went to Eden. We were supposed to meet the group there, and then we'd all walk down to the harbour, get on the boat, and that's how things was going to go. But we missed the whole pre-party. Couldn't find the people that we were supposed to go with. Ended up running down the harbour. Found the boat as it was pulling off. We got on. And I never even took into account that I usually get really bad seasickness. I never even thought of that. Especially in the state that we were in, like running off like two hours sleep. We hadn't eaten in like 12 hours. It was ridiculous. So the next clips are from the boat party. Me and Sean literally spent like about three hours downstairs just nearly getting sick all over the place. As soon as we hit the first wave in the sea, I felt horrible. I got horrible seasickness. So the next clips are, I think they're funny. They're just gas, like, because things just kept going wrong. You'll see from these clips now, I'll show you. <laughs> We can't fucking do it. <laughs> it's gone too far. We just got back from the shittest, skaggiest boat party of all time. It was just full of dads. <laughs> Three and a half hours long of feeling like absolute shit. And then we just came home. We are like, right, we go get money, go get food, we're starving. We feel like shit. I feel like shit all day. I've been running off three hours sleep and we don't have a room key. It's class. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> the head on me. This is a week and I beat it. This is what a week and I beat it looks like. Um, yeah, so this is our last day, lads. We stayed in last night. I know, pathetic. We've done a week and we stayed in, but we were just too raw off to go out. And we knew today was going to be a long day. The next week, Probably not going to sleep now for the next 24 hours. Um, we have Ushuaia today, Anson Ushuaia, um, so that's like an all day thing. And then we have amnesia after that. So it's just going to be a heavy, heavy, heavy experience. So yeah, we have to get all our shit ready because our flight is at like 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we're leaving here at like 7. So we still have to clean all the room and all. So I didn't fancy coming home after last night and having to do all this. Because um, we still have a lot of shit. We still, like, I only figured out where we're actually meeting our pickup and all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna bus to Ushuaia, then bus back, probably get changed here, and then a bus to Amnesia, and then I think there's a bus back, I'm not sure how we get back to be honest, but um, I'm gonna do all that, I'm gonna bring this with me, I'm actually looking forward to tonight now that, now that we took the night off, because uh, I just wouldn't have fancy coming home from Pasha last night, even though we bought our tickets, like, we spent like 50 quid in the tickets, but we're trying to sell them. We had a few people actually work for them, but like they ended up not doing it. But uh, so yeah, we will see you soon. Okay, that's the end of me for now. The clips make sense from now on in, as far as I'm aware. If you have enjoyed the video so far and you're still enjoying it, leave the video a like right now, or you've already done it. Don't unlike it. Fuck off, Drew. You're a faggot. Go like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, if you haven't already, if you watch my videos regularly, so you get regular updates. Have a zuzzle, zuzzle. Alright lads, that's the end of me. There is no more. No, 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 no more. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. See you soon. Last night, we go again. 
tits. Here we go again. Have, yeah, lads, we found Ushuaia. Well, it wasn't a hard look. It was nice if we got dropped out or anything. We're upside high, which is like the old space. But yeah, we're going in there. Uh, we found our college was playing, so it's going to be serious. We thought it was just a lot of random cunts, but college was playing. Um, so yeah, enjoying the sun. Going to enjoy Ushuaia. I don't know what time it's finished at. I think it's about 12, so we have about three hours. We're going to head back to Amnesia. Yeah. 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 Right. Then Amnesia. You speak the truth, my friend. So yeah, it's, it's uh, getting busy around here. Oh, shit. We have sweet cars down here. There's Hoy, it looks fucking tiny. It felt so big to the night, didn't it? Anyway, yeah, see you lads.
to I was like sitting on bed and I was like, Do you know what? It's our last night. Granted, I'm not drinking. Um I bought a vodka and orange juice in Ushua for seventeen euro. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we're gonna go to um, Elro now in Amnesia. We have to go back out because I just felt like shit on the way home. Um, you know, because pretty much everything that could go wrong on holiday has gone wrong this holiday, but you know, we're trooping on. Uh, last night, I was sitting on the bed and I was like, you know what, in a few years' time, I'm gonna be like, why didn't I go out on the last night? So, yeah, we're going to Amnesia now, lads. If you don't see it from me again, it's a lot what happened. It was just a shit night. <laughs> no! Positive attitudes, people! Let's fucking go, baby! Let's, uh... Real talk, though. Real talk. Seriously, though, lads. This place has taken me and Sean under storm. All kinds of storms. <laughs> it's good, though. We feel like we're in the same boat with someone else, though. Someone just knocked on our door and told us to be quiet. <laughs> so, we're not the only ones who can't hack it. We sold your own though. We go again. We go again. Shit. That wasn't even funny. Another taxi, another 800 euro for a taxi. Someone died on Sean tonight oh, like, yeah, yeah. in Amnesia. Some yeah, girl just, just died. Me and Sean went sober, and like being in Ibiza sober is like it's like walking to fucking Mars and just meeting a load of aliens. It's just a weird experience. Like, you just don't belong in an Ibiza nightclub if you're sober. So, we were just walking around, and some girl, like, it was fucking jammed. We were because we went real late, we went to like three o'clock in the morning, and some fellas came out with a taxi as we were getting into it. And he was like, Here, lads, don't go, it's too packed. They just come back from it. And uh, we were like, fuck it, we're going. But I wanted to see Amnesia, because we had had our ticket bought along. So we went, and it was just jammed full of people. And it was so hot on the dance floor, and some girl literally just collapsed on Sean. And like, we didn't really know what to do. I turned around, people started like pulling her up and all, but she was just more limp, and her fucking, was her face drooping and all? She like, was just farming out her mouth. Yeah, so like, she was probably, it was kind of scary. Like, people started like pulling everyone up, trying to get her up, and she was just She's completely limp, dead. Like, completely like that's kind of like, not normal, but if you're sober, like, I mean, not sober, if you're drinking and all, you'd be like, yeah, <laughs> but no, not really, but you know what I mean? Like, just seeing it sober, it was just like, Jesus Christ, it was just yeah, so just real. Turned into a beanbag. Yeah, it was fucking scary, but yeah, so we're just lying there, just contemplating our existence. If, I'd definitely come back, but do it, like, three or four days, um, yeah. and just go hard for them, like, cause it, was, like, it was after, like, the fourth night or so, me and Sean were just, like, completely, like, we went way too hard for the first few nights. Um, so yeah, we probably like I'd definitely come back again and do it like in some like so most people now. I see why people, most people do it in like three or four days, they go like at the start of summer and then go at the end again or something. But like, yeah, so it just seems to be the way to do it. It's just a different ball game over here compared to anywhere I've been. Like, it's completely different, but um, yeah, get a hotel and fucking black out blinds. Yeah, also, make sure you have an iron, we have no iron. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm gonna go through everything that's shit about this place. No iron, so we've just been wearing the same clothes basically. They're all been creased. Like, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but it's, it's literally the, it's the shittest thing ever. We couldn't iron anything. No iron. We're on the first floor, so it's like right beside the pool. Um, the road. The road. Like, literally, you've seen outside in the balcony, it's the road. We have no blackout curtains, so it's only getting bright now. Like, it's probably really bright in the room, but even without the light on. So coming home at like when it's already bright and then trying to sleep uh people just start pe like blaring music at like eight o'clock in the morning like just just and the fucking traffic is so loud then Very there's vibrant. yeah our door vibrates <laughs> it's like constantly vibrate. the, the glass just fucking vibrates all the time washing machine um doing. the cleaning lady calls every single morning at like 10 o'clock smashing our door sean <laughs> sean fucking 
I was in some fucking mad dream, like just a proper sleep deprived dream. I dreamt that my dog was getting my got run over. Then I woke up like in a cold sweat. Had another horrible dream. Can't remember what it was though. And all of a sudden, like I was lying here, and he hits me up my arm. And as the same as he hits me, like your one's banging on the door. So I like snap. Like I literally was just like <laughs> fucking scared the shit out of me. So like there's just constant noise and shit going on up here. Like, your one every morning. Do you want to clean up? We're like fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> she literally walks into our room because like, we just don't get up. She just keeps banging it, and then we're like. We're, do we just stay in the bed and then all of a sudden you can hear the door open and we're like and then we're probably just like you want to clean around now? two little fucking aliens fuck off will it? <laughs> we're like no it's alright <laughs> so yeah I fucking hate this place I'll never come back yet no I will like, well I don't know to be honest I'm, the thought of it right now is just making me uh, look how fucking bright it is already like that space you have bright it is like it's obviously it's still quite dark but like yeah when we're right so we're already Happy here? No, 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 the other day, I did say me and Sean left the room open, like we came home and our door was open. We were out getting food and we came back like 20 minutes later and our door was wide open. Didn't get robbed. Success. Glad success. So yeah, I'm going to... Uh, Glad success. <laughs> I'm going to uh, just turn off my phone now. I don't know when I'm going to record next. It's looking amazing. Well, we actually haven't made it yet. We're still waiting on the bus, but it's looking like that we're going to make it. So yeah. How are we going to run out of phone battery? And life. It's all I'm there. See you when I see you. I'm in mids. Alright. See this guy? This guy's in mids. So I'm just trying to go in mids. I'm trying to go home. I just want to like, see my mom and dad and me down. This is more comfortable than our apartment. I'm not going to lie. I am so ugly. Bye. <laughs> you're, you're really good looking. No, me neither. <laughs> I'm so ugly. And she keeps looking at me, making me mad paranoid. Okay. Alright lads, uh, just turns out we were holding up the whole plane. Me and Sean and two other people are the only ones on this fucking thing. We were just sitting outside the board and think, thinking that no one was there. I thought the gate opened at 25 past 12, 10. Turns out the plane leaves at 25 past 10. Everyone's like sitting on the plane waiting for us, so this is going to be really awkward. Look at the hiccups. Someone just goes, Sean? To Sean and then he's like, well, he's like come on, come on. So yeah, let's not tire look. I look like I got punched around. <laughs> <laughs>